are back, Celebrity U Radio TV, for the green segment by brought to you by Clayton Bailey, your host, DFW uh, Green Scene Home Inspections. So I have a my one of my co-founders of my groups. I'm very happy to have uh, Mark Nice here today. He is a founder, sits on my board for DFW Green Weavers, but he does DFW Green TV, and it doesn't have Kermit the Frog, Incredible Hulk, or any of those other green characters. It's a whole different set of green characters on the show, for sure. Um, but I wanted to give him an opportunity to introduce himself and find out how we're going to find him, because he's got lots of social media links. Well, thank you very much, Clayton. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. And also, Kathy, thank you very much for oh, inviting yes. me to be on the show. So, well, you're um, just you got to catch you when you, when you can, because I, everywhere I go, there he is. Uh, <laughs> a whispery yeah, wind. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a busy time, so that's a good thing. Well, uh, as far as connecting with me, I am on LinkedIn, Mark Nice. that's with a K, and the last name is N-E-A-C-E, -E, so I encourage anyone who's listening to uh, connect with me on LinkedIn there. And then as far as social media, on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, I'm DFW Green TV as a username, and then my video company is Key Image Media as a username, so my username is the same on all those platforms. And there's numerous other uh, platforms that I'm on, uh, so any social media site that you're on, just look for those two names and see if I'm there, and I probably am. <laughs> Mark is a networking <laughs> fool. Yes, he, he is. is. all over the road. He's either playing golf or caddying for golf, or he is behind the video camera, or he's at a networking event. Pretty much. Yeah. And, yeah. Your, and, you, and, you, and you just kind of wave to your wife as you go back? Uh, sometimes yeah. she's a good sometimes. sport, though. She yeah. is. She, she, she is. She, you drag her along, and she, she, you know, you could tell she's like, okay, what are we doing here? Hold this bag, dear. Yeah. <laughs> like, here we go. Here we go. Uh, so, she, she gives me a lot of support, so it's a good thing. So yeah. very in tune with the community. And yeah. speaking of community, I wanted to talk about Dallas and being green. And you know, people don't think that green necessarily would be in Dallas. You probably think of Austin or Boulder, Colorado or California. And so there really is a large movement of green things that are happening here in the Metroplex. And uh, I found Mark and he said, hey, I'm doing this DFW Green TV and I want to bring this to the group and really uh, exploit everybody that you have in Green Weavers. And I was like, hey, come on, bring it. And so we have really hooked up and became quite the powerhouse actually for getting out there and getting in tune with the DFW market. It's funny to see the number of businesses and companies. There's the there's the thing called greenwashing where everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon of, hey, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green. And uh, I, I talked to several people who they may or may not be doing that. And some of them are very legitimate and others are not. And so I think our group really legitimizes structure to say, okay, well, you have to get voted upon to by the founding members to see if you're actually green and you have to go through all of those interviews to do that because you just never know who you're going to run up against and what kind of credentials they have. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have Dallas in that platform and talking about green. And I've said it in the past that Dallas has more green homes uh, here than most other cities in the United States and that's because they've been requiring it for quite some time. Our city, the way that it's spread out, there's a lot of air pollution because mm -hmm. people are driving around everywhere. So we you're do going, have the, yeah, we have high standards. People, you know, everybody, everything that's being built north, Allen, Frisco, uh, and up that area, they've been requiring that you build green for quite some time. So Mark in the video side of things says, I'm doing DFW Green TV, and he came at me the first time and says, hey, I've got this roofing guy, and hey, I've got this other person, and I... I was like, wow, there really is somebody else out there that's networking as I am mm -hmm. with these other green guys. So mm -hmm. tell me about DFW Green TV and sure. how, it, how you got that lightning bolt. Well, I've always, uh, throughout my life, uh, my adult life, I've always been interested in green and sustainable. And um, being in the media industry for 20 plus years now, um, I really started seeing a need for those types of businesses, particularly locally here, to be able to promote themselves in some way. A lot of times those types of businesses don't really do a great job of marketing exactly what they're offering. And uh, so there's kind of a disconnect sometimes between the public and the businesses that are offering those services and products that they use anyway. And a lot of people, if they knew where to contact somebody and get a hold of those, they would choose 
to use their buying power to do business with those types of businesses to help support kind of a, uh, a wholesale change uh, in uh, consumerism. Let's face it, it's here to stay. I mean, people are, you know, going to go out and buy things and spend their money. So why not give them an opportunity and a resource to be able to find those businesses that are doing things yeah, res could. responsibly and sustainably and support those businesses and kind of drive the commerce that way. And then you make a wholesale change in a community uh, just based on the buying habits of consumers. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of, lots of tax credits out there now for a lot of these businesses. I mean, the, the insulation, the foam. I mean, so not only that, it's a way to save money. Uh, save the planet, save money for yourself, and get mm -hmm. some tax benefits, too, because I know they're putting a lot into it. It's so. a good Absolutely. platform. I, I was just talking, actually, Mr. Travis Blythe, Corner 6 Labs over there, sent me one of his referrals, and I talked to him today, and he said, hey, you know, I'm doing this place, and I want to be green, and I'm growing all food that's going to be green, and he's had all these wonderful things. He's like, but I want to build my building green, and I heard that you can do good things. He says, I've joined several other meetup sites, and I just, they kind of fizzled out, and I'm really looking for someone. He said, I'm not a contractor. I'm a chef. You know, I'm a cook. I don't, I'm, this is, you know, I do pastries. I don't do construction. Mm -hmm. And so I want somebody to be a one-stop shop where I can go and find exactly what I need to be able to green everything. And so... Yeah, that, that's the, um, you know, and I heard a lot of that also, and that's kind of what really prompted me to, to really follow through with what, I, with what I had as a vision of what I wanted to create, and that's one of, the, one of the reasons that I was encouraged to really follow through and start the process. And I think that's really, a, 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 you've done a great job with, with uh, coming up with the whole DFW Green Weavers uh, concept and attracting a lot of really high-level, uh, knowledgeable people yeah, good. Uh, and he's had good in their people industries. On the show here. Yeah, and um, I mean, I think it's really, really important because, you know, even a group like that, like you were talking, I like to kind of term it as maybe like a green chamber of commerce because... Oh, that's good. Because mm -hmm. even, even though people aren't paying necessarily to be a member in that group, there are qualifications that they have to meet, and there are a number of us. We just had our founders meeting the other day, and all of us had to bring up the people who had applied for membership and met the standard and actually talk about them and, and vote to whether we wanted to go ahead and grant them membership or whether we needed to follow up with them a little bit more. And there was a mixture of those. So I really think the vetting process is really important. And I'm implying, uh, employing those same standards, actually, for the listings on uh, DFW Green TV in, in the uh, directory there. Um, so, you know, the, the key, I think, is to really – to be a credible resource and really a resource that people can use and be confident in is that they know that the the directory is moderated and that people really have to demonstrate you know that they are green and sustainable uh, before they're able to be listed in that directory and available for people to you know to see and and to make contact yeah, with. absolutely so. i him and I see eye to eye. He's a video kind of guy, and that once upon a time in a form of my life was, <laughs> was my uh, forte, so I can respect that. Mm -hmm. um, but I really look at the two of us together as kind of the green yellow pages for what's going on in the area. And I was approached um, by a different meetup group to take their group over, uh, and I found out that this group was based out of California. And to me, Sustainability is what you have right here in your area and what you do with it, uh, whether it be food or uh, energy or travel. It's like using the resources that you have right here. Yeah. And, and that's where I said, you know, let's link together all of these businesses that are here in the Metroplex together and make them all unique. And so... But surely we have a national audience that watches this show. So, yeah. you know. It, I hope somebody picks it up and they do the same thing. Yeah, the idea is to replicate it. You know, we just set up, you know, we set the set the stage basically for that to happen. And then hopefully it, it can be replicated, especially in other major met metropolitan areas where it can be very useful. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, the cool thing about it for me is as because I'm building a lot of original content also to go to go on the site. It's basically like an online video magazine type format that, I, that I'm trying to make the site into so that it's entertaining and educational, you know, at the, at the same time. And one of the great things, like I just uh, shot an interview this past week with the uh, director of the Office of Environmental Quality for the city of Dallas. And like you were talking about, a lot of people, they, they think Dallas and they think completely different than green and sustainable. But really, the city of Dallas is one of the oh, more, yeah. Yeah. one of the more progressive cities in the whole country and really in the world as far as taking a very holistic approach and tackling 
the problem from many different areas, but making sure those are all coordinated. Yep. And they actually, we're the only city that has the EPA designation. I forget exactly what the term is for it that Kevin told me, but the, the reason that the EPA designated and, and singled out Dallas was because of that overall holistic approach. I mean, we're doing things with the Clean Air Initiative, with the, with the uh, building codes that you talked about, uh, with the water supply, with capturing methane from the landfill, the land and then fills, turning that over and using one. it to power the water treatment facility. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're starting to do some things with biodigestion of the sludge from the water treatment and, and recapturing the methane from that and from cooking oils and, you know, the whole DART expansion. And then, you know, I think it's something like 40% of the city's fleet for buses and other vehicles are either alternative fuel or electric gas hybrid exactly, vehicles. Yeah. So they're really taking a, you know, just a really broad approach and tackling the biggest problems first and then working their way down. And I mean, just doing that one interview and, you know, and shooting, you know, for an hour, hour and a half uh, with, with uh, Kevin Lefevre the other day, I was, I was blown away. And I know that a lot of other people don't know that either. So, it's, you well, know, so EPA, the point, the yeah. EPA program, it's sustainable skylines. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. stepped in and, and that's one of the things that they discovered. The EPA did a, a study on the, a lot of the major metropolitan cities in the United States and they measured out how many days of air pollution uh, were in that orange or red level. And Dallas was Unfortunately, during the summertime, we're in that orange. Oh, a we lot. are. And yeah, and I was telling some. I was on. I was talking on the show last couple of weeks. In the last couple of weeks, that they're they're keying in the air pollution and that with diabetes. Huh. They're finding a connection. I mean, wow. they're like going, "This is really, you know, you know, not everybody that has diabetes lives in the city, uh, with pollution, but but but." There's a high number. Of, Absolutely. So yeah. there, there's health issues that go with it. Well, you, you figure all of the cars. I mean, in this morning, I was going from my house over uh, Lake Highlands area over to Oak Cliff, and you know, you're on 30, and you look at all the cars that are there, and you've you've probably got 20,000 cars that are on a highway, and that's on 635 and 30 and 20, and everything's backed up, and you think of all of the emissions that those cars are emitting, not to mention all the the building emissions and everything that's going on. Uh, within that, it's just it contributes And then your home being toxic. So yeah, yeah, I like that. I mean, I like what y'all are doing, and it's a good passion, and it helps. When anytime it helps mankind and the planet, you know, it's got a positive influence. And it's economically beneficial for for a lot of people. You oh, know, yeah. also it is. Green to, Weavers uh, has been Green so. Weavers is flying fast. I mean, we are nonstop. We've got our own website coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing a calendar of events that's all green based and so everybody's trying to get in on it and everybody is now kind of jumping in on a piece of the action. They're wanting to know what do I, what does it take to get in? What does it take to go and do it? Okay. So it is a very, very progressive thing and it's, I have a feeling that we're going to be going fast and furious for quite some time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to another group and, and another locale sometime soon because we're overbooked. So. Well, you got less than a minute. We, we're wrapping up. We're out of time. Okay. So. so I want to give Mark the opportunity one more time to talk about uh, DFW Green TV, where we can find you. Of course, DFW Green Weavers, you're going to find up on meetup.com, meetup.com, DFW Green Weavers, and we also got a Facebook fan page. Right. And uh, actually, for now, my website, the platform that my website is on, they're doing a lot of major upgrades uh, and some service on that platform right now. So I would prefer people go to DFW Green TV uh, on Facebook for now to connect with me. Uh, and then uh, I'll put out notices through there uh, when the full functioning side is back cool. up again. So. And anybody's more than welcome to come to Green Weavers, but to be a member, you got to be green. Okay. All right. We are signing off, and we'll see you next week. And I have... Uh, a lighting person coming to save money on energy and light. See, see that's what he's talking about, saving money and saving mm -hmm. the planet. Love yeah. it. Okay, well, we're going to come back here. And Bye, thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, Clayton.